Today, we will be discussing the concepts of beauty or what we feel is a beautiful body. To establish or achieve a beautiful body, we feel that the line should be coherent and the silhouette should be perfect with no bulges in the wrong places. Unfortunately, some people have a hereditary tendency to develop fat or deposit fat in certain places such as the hips, thighs, abdomen, knees, ankles, face or neck. These areas are suitable for liposuction. Liposuction is a procedure that can help sculpt the body by removing unwanted fat from specific areas. It involves the use of small stainless steel tubes called cannulas, typically connected to a powerful suction pump. The cannula is inserted into the fat through very small incisions in the skin and the fat is then removed by suction as the cannula creates tiny tunnels through the fat. Nowadays the diameter of these cannulas have reduced to 3 or 4 millimetres in size and hence they produce less damage and skin incisions no longer need stitches. A new technique, the tumescent technique, is helping to provide selected patients with more precise results and quicker recovery times. Liposuction is however not a substitute for dieting and exercise but can remove stubborn areas of fat that don't respond to traditional weight loss methods. A good candidate for liposuction should have realistic expectations. It's important to understand that liposuction can enhance your appearance and self-confidence, but it won't necessarily change your looks. Liposuction is not a treatment for obesity. Normal weight people with firm, elastic skin who have localised pockets of excess fat in certain areas are the best candidates for liposuction. Those who have diminished skin elasticity may not achieve the same results as a younger patient with tighter skin. As mentioned previously, the particular areas of the body that can be helped by liposuction are the hips, inner thighs, outer thighs, abdomen or stomach, buttocks, waist, upper arms, knees, ankles and chin. Liposuction may be carried out in a number of areas at the same time or be combined with another procedure. For example, it may be combined with a facelift where excess fat is present under the chin or in conjunction with an abdominoplasty to improve the overall outcome. It can also be used in treating certain conditions like gynecomastia, where fat is deposited on the chest wall in men, or lipodystrophy, where abnormal deposits of fat have formed. Liposuction is often performed under local anaesthesia, which numbs only the affected area. This is used along with intravenous sedation to maintain relaxation during the procedure. However, some patients prefer general anaesthesia, particularly if a large volume of fat is being removed, or if the area to be treated is near to the face, or when combined with other procedures, for example, treatment of the male breast. The time required to perform liposuction may vary considerably, depending on the size of the area, the amount of fat being removed, the type of anaesthesia and the technique used. The technique of liposuction has been made possible under local anaesthesia and able to be performed safely using the tumescent technique. This involves injecting large volumes of a very dilute solution of lidocaine, which is a local anaesthetic, and epinephrine or adrenaline, a vasoconstrictor, into subcutaneous fat the targeted tissue then becomes swollen and firm or tumescent. The operation is performed completely under sterile conditions. Areas to be treated are marked preoperatively and disinfected and then the tumescent solution is infiltrated. Once the anaesthesia has had the desired effect, through a tiny incision, a narrow tube or cannula is inserted and used to remove the fat layer that lies beneath the skin. Bruising, swelling and discomfort after the operation are normal, but temporary, and the degree of this depends on the extent and location of the area treated. 
After surgery, you will be likely to experience some fluid drainage from the incisions. To control swelling and to help your skin better fit its new contour, you will be fitted with a snug elastic garment to wear over the treated area and your surgeon will also prescribe antibiotics to guard against infection. Before and after photographs will be taken in order to assess the improvement over time. Complications of liposuction include bruising, infection, scars, black skin, irregularities, altered sensation and generalised complications. Bruising is to be expected when small metal tubes have been passed under the skin and will be relatively minimal. Infection, as stated earlier, is guarded against by antibiotics both during the procedure and afterwards. The scars from liposuction are small, typically three or four millimetres in length, but in patients with pigmented skin may become slightly darker and sometimes obvious. Lack skin may result when the patient is a little older and typically the skin is less elastic than in younger patients. Irregularities after liposuction tend to be minor and have also been made smaller by the use of the tumescent technique. Again, after the passage of small tubes through the skin, sensation is often altered in the skin, but this rapidly returns to normal. It is quite common for patients to describe itching, which again is normal. Generalised complications include things such as deep vein thrombosis, and again it must be emphasised that under local anaesthesia, this type of complication is very rare. Healing is a gradual process. You will be advised to start walking as soon as possible after your procedure to reduce swelling and help to prevent blood clots from forming in your legs. You should begin to feel better after about a week or two and you should be back at work within a few days following your surgery. There will be no stitches to be removed. Activity that is more strenuous should be avoided for approximately a month as your body continues to heal. Although most of the bruising and swelling usually disappears within three weeks, some swelling may remain for six months or more. You will see a noticeable difference in the shape of your body quite soon after surgery. However, improvement will become even more apparent after four to six weeks when most of the swelling and bruising has subsided. After approximately three months, any persistent mild swelling usually disappears and a final contour will be visible. If your expectations are realistic, you will probably be very pleased with the results of your surgery. You may find that you are more comfortable in a wide variety of clothes and more at ease with your body. By eating healthfully and getting regular exercise, you can help to maintain your new shape. Finally, Fat removal by liposuction is one of the most exciting and effective treatments in modern cosmetic surgery. It is an excellent technique that produces very favourable results and it can also be judiciously employed with other procedures to enhance their effects. Again, it is essential to have a realistic expectation and remember that good eating habits and exercise are important and their relevancy cannot be overemphasised. I also recommend patients who are seeking this procedure to have the operation performed at a registered accredited hospital where the operation is done under complete sterile conditions and that's why I choose the Nuffield Hospital Brighton which meets this criterion. Music